So there are a lot of cool places to put a base in Power World, but some of them are going to be way more beneficial for a bunch of different resources and stuff that you might need. So if we start at the very, very beginning of the game, this is where you start at the Plateau of Beginnings. We are going to go through the best places to pop a base, and we're going to start by ignoring where I have my main base. So from the Plateau of Beginnings, if we come down here, you're going to see my house and everything on the hill, stupidly. But if you come around here, look at this flat land. The biggest opportunity I missed in this entire game. You have a load of different pals that will spawn in. You've got chickpeas, you've got cativers, you've got dinosaurs, there's mammarest, which is obviously quite a high level. But you also get daydreams and stuff. And a flat land is going to be your best bet because it makes building so much easier. So you can either take this side, which is going to have some trees and stuff as well. And you've got some Paldium fragments here. But not only that, you have an ore rock over here with some stone. So this is a really, really good location. Or even the other side of this water where you also have an ore rock. You've got some stone up there. You've got trees again. And again, it's just a bunch of flat land. So this, which is right here on the map, is your best starting location for a base. So again, going from the Plateau of Beginnings, if you make your way west, the next base location I recommend is right at the Desolate Church, just behind it where I actually have my second base at the moment. Because if we jump on Nightwing and we go around and have a look, this is my automated ore farm. You're going to get a lot of ore which is needed around like mid-game, that sort of area. And this base will work itself. So a really, really good location to set up a base. Next up, from the Plateau of Beginnings again, if we go all the way to the top left, this is Ice Wind Island. And the reason I like this one, if you look at the map, you can see all of the sand. Uh, yeah, this is from the coast, the fast travel point down there. If we turn around, look at all of this flat land. I, have, I absolutely love flat land in this game because I built my main base on a massive hill that I think has actually bugged out some of my powers because they constantly get stuck. So flat land is going to be really beneficial for your workstations, your buildings and things like that. It's just a lot better to build on. And uh, yeah, there's lots and lots of it on this island. But not only that, besides the dire house, you just have a bunch of friendly low level pals that you can uh, capture and stick in your base. There's ore and everything, there's rocks, there's trees, so you've got some good resources here as well, there's berries even. Now this one is probably one of my favourites, if we go from the Plateau of Beginnings, if we come up here next to Icewind Island, which was the previous one, this is the Forgotten Island Church Ruins, and at this fast travel point, you have this uh, Church Ruins, and every now and then you'll have a chest that spawns in here, so that's going to be free coins. I get arrows and stuff from it like I have done in the past. You have ore, which is accessible. You've got rocks. You've got trees. There are low-level pals here. There's a mammarest. Like, it's pretty much all friendly. And there's flat land over there. But this is the best part. Look at this and how nice this looks. But not only that, inside this, whatever you want to call it, this I'm going to say crater, you, uh, you have a skill fruit tree that's in the middle. You have Paldeon Fragments, which are going to be helpful. And not only that, if we turn around, you also get eggs that spawn here too. So we have a damp egg down there. And not only that, it's just such a nice area. You've got the flat land, which I pointed out before, but you've also got this big bunch of flat land over here. So those are my favorite places, what I'm going to say the best places to set up a base in Power World. But if we take a look at the map, over here in the Scorching Desert, there is a coal place you can set up. So that you can either automate it, you can manually mine the coal and stuff. And if you come down to Mount Obsidian, there are a bunch of areas that have loads and loads of sulfur rocks. So I would say placing your base depends, like where you put it, all depends on which resources you need. If you're early game, I recommend sticking to the chill areas. But as you make progress, you can obviously place your base wherever you want anyway. And don't just up and leave your original place with your first base. Because as you level up your base, I believe it's level 10 and level 15, you get access to extra ones. And say for an example, all of your world settings are default. So you can have a max number of 15 pals at any base. That's 15 pals at each of your bases. So if you're level 10, you've got two bases. Your main one can have 15. You're going to have a mobile base that's set up for just gathering resources, using storage chests and stuff. And if you wanted to, you could summon 15 different pals at that base as well. 
So essentially, with a max of 15 at each base, you can have 45 pals set out across your bases. So there's a lot of opportunity. But not only that, one thing I recommend is trying to find, like, if you're not too but like bothered about flat land and stuff, try and find places that don't have fast travel points nearby because your pal box acts as a fast travel point. So when it comes to my base down at the Desolate Church, the only reason I have that base there is because I'm automating my ore farming. If that wasn't the case, I would never, ever think of placing a base there. What I would do is probably try and find a nice bit of flat land towards the bottom of this island because there's a level 18 Nightwing boss. There's beach, there's water, there's loads of flat land. And not only that, you are absolutely nowhere near a fast travel point. But that is, in my opinion, the best early game or best starting base locations in Power World. And that is going to do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the base building in Power World in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.